Prison there, bastard. French man at 500 yards, sir. There is a man among them called Augustine Jordan. He is a poet and he's killed more Germans than all of us put together. Now, I gave my word that we would unfasten their leashes and let them fight. Rommel's airstrips are now heavily defended. Men like Jordan are men like us, and they've lost their country. Would be rather unsporting to kill him at 500. 400. Perhaps instead you should read poetry to one another and then wrestle naked in the sand to see which of you is a finer Spartan warrior. Never wrestle naked in the sand. Sand under the foreskin is one of the most painful medical conditions imaginable. Have you been drinking? Aye. And are you going to at least be polite? And the last French words I heard were, you take back. I was very polite. I said, she's sweet as a She's well up there. Lieutenant May! Paddy, are you supposed to be somewhere else? Probably. You're in check. Paddy? Why don't you just... Make yourself known to the captain. I'm hardly known to myself. Plus, the captain gets my goat. Lieutenant May! Paddy, think about Burma. Don't do anything that will jeopardize our deployment to Burma. Hey! I've been looking all over fucking Cairo for you. You're meant to be in a briefing. But you're too busy playing chess with your boyfriend. Get on your fucking feet and get yourself a shave while you're at it. I have my friend in check. <coughs> in two moves, it'll be checkmate. Now, wait your fucking turn. Get on your fucking feet, you lazy Irish fucker! <coughs> Perhaps you would like to inspect your men. This is Lieutenant Zirneld from a paratrooper. This is Soldier X, real name unknown. Ex Foreign Legion. We call him Lavinas Grapes. Because he drinks wine instead of water. Lavinas. Creeps. How many of your men do not remember their own names? 
Most of my men speak no English at all. Well, actually, Paddy speaks French. No, he fucking doesn't. Paddy speaks dog, and your men speak dog. So? We will communicate as dogs. This is one man that knows his name. Sergeant Asna, ex-foreign legion. He joined the adventure before the war began. And he's German. He is invaluable at roadblocks. We have German uniforms in our truck, and four of my men are fluent in German, but Sergeant Essen is the real thing. Ooh, that's the real thing? How real are you, Sergeant Essner? I am a real soldier. I despise the French, but I fucking hate Germans. You are a German in a Frenchman's uniform. Nothing but a turncoat. Expect to be isolated by my contempt. Yes, sir. Actually, there are two of us. I am Kobold of Bluckner. I am German, too. They came as a pair. That's fucking brilliant. Tweedledum and Tweedledeusch. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> this is Aspirant Alevi. He speaks German as well. He is Jewish. And his entire family, including his two children, were taken to the camps. He has made a vow to kill as many Nazis as he can. I am a hand grenade, sir. Pull the pin. Throw me where the enemy is most numerous. We have use for men like him, Paddy. Fair play. Show me to the philosopher. Lieutenant Augustin Jordan, my second in command, winner of the Croix de Guerre, and former professor of philosophy at La Sorbonne. Sir, I hear you're a poet. The eyes of a familiar compound ghost, both intimate and unidentifiable. I find T.S. Eliot rather dull. Not a debate worth getting sand under the foreskin for, one might imagine. Of course, I am a spy. In war, we must only purpose our professional talents. Oh, fuck. And what is your purpose? I am an intelligence officer who reports directly to the Free French government in exile. General de Gaulle. <laughs> Tommy's bar stood in a pub in Dean Street. How are you enjoying Cairo, Paddy May? How do you know my name? Lieutenant May. Your victory over the Vichy French at the Vitania River was the first piece of good news for the French who opposed Hitler in a long time. I would like you to give me an assessment of the morale of pro-Nazi French soldiers that you came into contact with, so that I can file a report to the general. All the pro-Nazi French soldiers I personally came into contact with are dead. So, the morale is pretty poor, I would say. My father was a brigadier. He taught me to ride, shoot, and kill. Kill with cutlery if necessary. Well, if, if you're in need of cutlery, I'd go and find another table. I'm here to attend a meeting. Nice. Well, listen, Paddy. Oh. Sometimes when you are in command, 
You need to make difficult decisions. Not play the fucking piano and go sightseeing in the desert. <laughs>